Now we'll reach the foundation analysis and design part. Mainly we have four divisions in this part. The first one we will explore how did we check the uh, foundation system for the tower. We have checked the raft only and we showed if it is available or if it is will be okay to design the raft or not and then we will go for the pile draft and then we will use the pile cap system and it will be illustrated. The car parking foundation system which is just two story building we have used the isolated footing or st and strip footing. And in the research part we check the pile load share research which is describing the concerns about the design of the pile draft on rock or on the piles that is socketed into rock and it will be exploring the concerns and the errors that can be done uh, in estimation the subgrade reaction and the pile load pile spring constant as a final part it will be the design of the sheet pile wall which is using the cantilever system here as you can see that this is the tower area and in this tower area you, you can see that we will use the high uh, capacity foundation system and this is the car parking area which we use the spring uh, spread footing and the uh, single footing for uh, the foundation uh, for calculating the raft foundation if we want to do raft we have to check the settlement and we assume that this is the sand because it's a man-made island and we have some some sand nine meter then the rock will start with an average arc you do of 45 percent when we check the settlement the sand of the settlement was 7.1 centimeter and the rock settlement was 8.5 centimeter the maximum allowable settlement in the raft this is 10 centimeter and it will not be allowed to use the raft foundation in the system to, and we showed all the details and the calculation to show that it will not be adequate for this system so we switch to the pile draft system the pile draft system the first the, the first procedure the first step in the procedure of the pile draft that we have to calculate the pile capacity and to calculate the pile capacity we have to know what is the rock that is surrounding and the friction with the uh, with the rock and uh, how can we hand, how we are going to transfer the load of the raft using the piles to a stiffened uh, strata of the rock to estimate the number of the piles if we want to use just a conventional pile draft we will know what is the total service reaction and we will divide it by the pile design capacity we can check how many piles that we distributed equally but we had a problem that some of the columns are concentrating on more col on more piles than others for example if we take this column this column is putting more load in this pile so this pile is not adequate and it is not distributing the load of this column for all piles even if you used a rigid raft so we have tried to go to, to the pile cap system the pile cap system is using you can group the columns we use the middle raft to take the shear walls and the major columns by a raft and distributing it to the piles and for the other columns we can put the pile cap system for each con control for each columns also we have some problems in this we have to increase the thickness of the pile cap or we have to increase the number of the piles the final layout that we have reached with the number of the pile, number of piles and number for each column as you can see in this and it will be there there will be a raft with a 50 centimeter uh, surrounding these pile caps this is the safe model and we have it checked that the reaction coming to the pile is less than the pile capacity and this is will be an adequate design this is sample detailing of the middle raft for the uh, shear walls this is a section and this is a sample detailing of the pile cap that is carrying one column and this is the section now we reach the car parking foundation system we have used the rectangular fo footings and this footings was surrounding in the car parking area sample detailing of the rectangular footing is this We have used also a wall footing for the bearing wall with a very simple method for the designing of the strip footing. This is a video was prepared also in the graduation project to model the foundation system in this structure. And it will be shown in a separate video. 
This is the cantilever sheet pile. We have proposed that we can put a sheet pile to resist the soil and we can use this system as a marina. This sheet pile can be very easy analyzed using the earth pressure calculation. As you can see here in the figure, we can calculate the earth pressure from the soil, the water, and we design this pile sheet as a cantilever pile sheet. We have chosen to do this pile sheet as a contiguous piles because we are not required to uh, make it impermeable. We can let the water go because it's already the water is surrounding the pile sheet. Now we have reached the research and the geotechnical concerns about the design of the pile draft on rocks. We know that we have two concepts in the design of the raft on piles. The first one is the conventional concept, which assuming that the, st the stresses that is coming from the raft is distributed to the piles directly, and there is nothing is sharing, nothing sharing the loads from the surrounding soil or rock. The other type is the pile draft concept. The pile draft is considering the spring constant of the pile and the subgrade reaction of the rock. In this two modeling for this raft foundation we are assuming the modulus of subgrade reaction and we are assuming the pile spring constant and the assumption of these values this these values have some ranges and if we assume it in some way we can affect our design and this is what the research is, is exploring what we have did we know that the spring but uh, subgrade modulus of the rock, for example, ranges from 150 to 300 in Qatar. And the pile spring constant ranges from 4.5 to 9 meters, depending on the RQD of the rock surrounding the, rock, the uh, pile. And we have some raft foundation with a spacing of 3D up to 60. And we can use thickness 0.75 or 1.2 model or simulate the thickness of the raft if it's a rigid 1.5 or a flexible raft. We have considered two types of the piles. The piles which is embedded in the rock, fully embedded, and this is the case of Qatar and Corniche. Depending on the RQD, different RQD, we can get different pile spring constant. And there is another type which is the pile that is socketed into the rock, which is the uh, system that, or the strata of the other countries, not here in Qatar. Some areas like the uh, uh, Pearl Qatar or the New Doha International Airport, they have the same type of these piles. But in the Cornish area, you will see that the pile is fully embedded in the rock. We have talk, we have taken this spring constant and we have checked all these values that we have described here for all cases to describe the errors that can be done using the assumption of overestimating or, or underestimating either the spring constant or the subgrade reaction.